Lo Fong, and I've been uh, joined UCL since um, 2015. I was a master's student, and then I started a PhD, and uh, recently I also started to work as a researcher at UCL. So um, Open Form is the uh, main software I use to perform my research. I use it as a tool to simulate some physics and engineering processes that could happen in real life, but we use computer to simulate it. So we achieve it in a relatively cheap way. Daniela Benitez. I joined UCL in 2016. Uh, I'm doing a PhD in the mechanical engineering department. And as uh, Lou explained, I'm also using the same software. Colin Saharalambus, I uh, actually been a part-time PhD student since 2016 in UCL. And uh, well, my involvement with OpenFOAM was actually in the last uh, uh, two years. Uh, I was using other platforms CFD platforms in the past, but uh, haven't seen that uh, what we can actually do with Open Foam. Uh, it was decided that uh, uh, it actually worth uh, uh, investing time on learning the the software, and as well as uh, trying to uh, do the different application I'm doing for my uh, PhD using Open Foam. Open Foam, it's free, um, open source, but it's uh, more difficult and more technique. You have to know about um, programming, C++. If you didn't um, know it before, you cannot really understand what is, what's going on because it doesn't have an interface. With open Four, you can see exactly what's under the hood in terms of CFD. Uh, you can actually discover how really a CFD code works. How to manage each one of the input variables personalize it and configure it according to your needs. It gives you to, to the possibility to understand better what you are actually uh, doing and trying to implement. Because you can see every code, which means you know what's really going on. You can um, see the equations, even some um, numeric methods. Apart from that, you can even edit uh, the code so you can change the function. But in commercial software, well, you can only use what's given learning, let's say, the post-processing powers that you have from with OpenFOAM, uh, I think uh, you will like it and it will be more uh, straightforward of uh, uh, doing the things that you like to do with that. Imagine if um, I'm just a you know, beginner and uh, you, you just threw a lot of code on my face, I wouldn't even be able to understand what's that and try to collect it with safety. In, in this context, uh, I was really trying to find someone who can teach me. And I, I, I look around UCL and uh, even, even some uh, wider community. Unfortunately, um, I didn't find something like a, a workshop available or somebody is really um, offering, um, offering PhD, PhD students um, course to help them start up. Uh, however, I, I found something in Sweden, um, uh, which I was Charmas University of um, Technology. Um, they have a very comprehensive course from installing open form for apl to applying open form and then you can program in, in open form. So I went there. I spent several months there and uh, and I, I found it's extremely useful and uh, helped me to get get on with my research. So upon come back and I, I think I thought um, well, we should have similar thing at UCL because uh, there are many, many researchers around and there are many new researchers um, getting started. So I was um, talking with, uh, for example, my supervisor, uh, with Daniela and with um, some other um, earlier students at UCL at that time. Now they, they have graduated, but they were there wrote a grant application to UCL and uh, talk about my feeling and why it's needed at UCL. So UCL, it's really, um, how to say, open mind, flexible, supportive to to approve this project. And then we, uh, we established this course under the UCL doctorate skill development, development program. And then uh, we start to plan the workshop in 2000. 
2018, that was the first generation. Uh, we got 20 participants um, for very, um, very small amount, but that was really nice because uh, we got very good feedback from them. They said it's really helpful. And after the three days workshop, we thought also to um, write the, the material into loads. So we try to uh, record every step, like how you install OpenFORM to how apply OpenFORM and we prepared various tutorials and compare it into a document to publish online. So people can also download it and uh, follow the step to, to get a start. In 2020, yeah, the pandemic came had been granted again the research-led initiative by the doctoral skills. This led us to do it uh, online. This gave us a very good opportunity because uh, now we can include uh, people from outside the UK. So it was no longer uh, compulsory for them to be in London. The speakers were starting to share about the workshop. We just double. Like in, we ended up having 700, almost have 700 registered attendees and from around uh, 40 countries. It, it has very nice experience. The workshop lasted um, three days, full eight hours uh, a day, incorporating talks during the morning and tutorials during the afternoon. We had the speakers uh, from Australia, from China, uh, from Singapore, from around Europe. So it was a really, really nice experience. When I met Daniela, I asked her about uh, OpenFone and she gave me the uh, opportunity actually to be uh, one of the persons who is going to do a tutorial uh, in the previous uh, OpenFone uh, workshop. And uh, it, was, it was really exciting for me because it was actually the first time that we had to speak in an audience that was uh, more or less above 250 people in each one of the sessions. And, and it was, I mean, it was really exciting. I'm also receiving uh, the feedback and also the questions from, uh, from the people with regards to the uh, things that we have explained and we have shown them. The most challenging thing was to actually put it all together and wait that nothing will go wrong. I don't know, I kept dreaming that I forgot to send an email and then people will not have a way to enter to the webinar. And uh, But to be honest, surprisingly, it went very smoothly during the tiring, because I think it was very demanding for all of us. But it, it went uh, very, very smoothly. And before the, the event itself, waiting for the emails and trying to actually confirm them. But to be honest, we didn't have any surprise at the last minute. So everybody could cope with the time. And even some of them may even require more time. So we try to put them after. Before the three days, I never um, thought about it. So it will be so successful. Everything was very well prepared by Liu Feng and Daniela, especially setting up the uh, Zoom connections and inviting all these people and the speakers that uh, were attending. Uh, and as well, the persons had have done the tutorials and everyone was really punctual on their time. And, uh, they have performed very, very well. And the thing is, for me, it because it was the first time I was involved uh, in this open form workshop, uh, it was definitely an, uh, one of the best experience in, in, let's say, in a workshop in UCL, to be honest. I think that the work was that have been done by everyone and by the speakers as well was uh, tremendous good. I hope that when we have this um, workshop this year, uh, we have 16 speakers in total and they are very, you know, they are very busy people because they, they are like most of them are university uh, faculty members and uh, um, they have a lot going on. Um, uh, was a famous in the field, but they just contribute their, their talk, their keynote speech, and their tutorials. 
and uh, allowed us to record the videos. The idea is actually to pass this so the people that is interested in still at UCL can continue with this, keep contributing with tutorials and speakers as part of the future open form workshops. At UCL, um, I think the support circ goes um, from our supervisors because um, open form workshop is not our main, um, how to say, main duty here, but uh, still allow us to do that. And also the department help us to you know, circulate this um, and uh, our colleagues send this um, information to um, the networks and the way also share this for example, on LinkedIn and uh, many people forwarded it. Also, UCL is really supportive to um, give us uh, the money to, to run the workshop. And uh, this is also very, uh, obviously very yeah. important. Through the doctoral skills uh, yeah, program. And, uh, and also like license and of doing Zoom because we had a, uh, we had a limitation, uh, 1,000 people in a Zoom, um, like, webinar so we had to uh, send a special request for a license and uh, but you still get it done for us and you know yeah, yeah. the resources uh, from so, UCL were very helpful during these times I mean, the support of course from UCL is quite important for this uh, workshop and I believe and I hope that this will be of course uh, be continued and uh, definitely maybe in the next the years to come is going to be even more successful uh, open form workshops than uh, the one that we have uh, uh, organized. Saying that, it's like an invitation, as we already said, for uh, even more people to to step in and uh, try to to come uh, with us and organize it in the years to come. With everybody's support, it was not only for us, but everybody was uh, very supportive. All of the speakers. So I think we have to thank them that also everything went very smooth. Three years is not a short time, but it's still a beginning. And uh, I hope no matter where we are uh, in the future, still somebody and uh, more and more people can join this community. Maybe not only use or open form workshop, can, can be UK open form workshop or even something bigger. And then, then we're really happy and we will be really proud.